Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to install plugins onto your Minecraft server. As you can see, we've logged into the server panel, and the first thing we're going to take a look at is the jar and pre-install menu selector. So let's go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, we're presented with a whole bunch of options of uh, the current spigot versions. Um, but the three main ones we'll be taking a look at today is paper, spigot, as well as craft bucket. In order to be using plugins on your server, we'll need to have one of these three versions. While some other jar files do support plugins, these are the only ones we'll be focusing on today. Paper is a fork of Spigot in which can provide more optimization control for your server. Spigot is a fork of Craft Bucket and also provides some additional optimization. Whereas Craft Bucket is a fork of Vanilla in which Spigot is built upon. In a nutshell, Paper will support both Craft Bucket and Spigot plugins. Spigot will support both Spigot and Craft Bucket plugins, whereas Craft Bucket will not support Spigot or Paper plugins, as it only supports the Craft Bucket plugins. So if you're looking for the most compatibility, I'd recommend Paper. I've gone ahead and switched over our server to use the latest build of Paper, and the first thing we're going to do in order to install a plugin is to actually download them. So I've got two plugins pulled up here on Spigot, uh, the first one being clear lag, which is a server optimization plugin um, that will reduce entities and clear any entities that are not needed in your server. So this can actually greatly uh, assist you with uh, your server's performance. So let's go ahead and click download now and we'll save the file. And with Essentials X, this will just add in a whole bunch of useful commands. Um, as you can see, over 130 commands and features um, into your server. Um, and it's actually quite a very useful plugin to have. Uh, now, whenever we download this one, you'll actually see it's saved as a zip. And this is because Essentials X comes with multiple Essential plugins. So as you can see, I have both Essentials X and the clear lag jar. So let's go ahead and double click Essentials X. And this is the zip folder. This is the plugin that contains the majority of the commands and useful features. So we'll go ahead and just drag this to our desktop. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and already connected to my server via FTP. If you're unsure how to do that, you can simply go back to the server panel, click FTP file access, and enter these details into a FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP. If you need some further instruction on that, we actually have a FTP tutorial on the channel as well. We're gonna go ahead and select these two plugins and we're going to simply drag and drop them into the plugins folder and wait for those to be uploaded. As you can see, the files have now uploaded. We'll go back to the server panel, go back to the main page, restart our server. So as you can see, the server is now online. If we actually take a look in console, you can see the output from the two plugins we've installed. Um, so ClearLag has gone ahead and enabled ClearLag. Essentials, on the other hand, did give us a error message saying we are running an unsupported server version. However, typically we can go ahead and ignore this as long as it did load in the plugin and is working correctly. However, that is one thing to note. Um, whenever you are downloading plugins, you'll need to make sure that under the tested Minecraft versions list, or if you're on Craft Bucket, it will also display a versions list typically on the plugins page, um, is compatible with the version you are running. Now that the server is fully started, we can actually do uh, one of two things. So first we can join the game and actually try out some of the commands that the, these two plugins provide. Or in console, we can simply type uh, PL or plugins and it will list the current installed plugins. So as you can see plugins, there's two plugins, clear lag and essentials. So as you install plugins, they will show up here. So as you can see, we've jumped into the server. And if we go ahead and run that same slash PL command we did earlier in console, you'll see clear lag and essentials are installed. Um, if we were to, you can actually see clear lag previously ran and removed three entities already. We haven't made any config changes to it. Um, so that's kind of what it does out of the box uh, is periodically remove entities on the ground as well as any entities you configure um, within its configuration file. So certain plugins will have different uh, ways to get the command list, but a sure way of doing this is doing help and then the plugin name. Um, so if we were to do that for clear lag, you can see the base command is slash lag, um, in which case provides you with all of the different clear lag commands. Um, whereas if we were to do it with essentials, whereas essentials, it lists out all of the different commands for essentials um, and lists them by page. So if we were to do help essentials too, it lists that out for um, page two. So this will vary for each plugin and it's typically best if you're unsure of what commands there are for that plugin to just simply look on the spigot or bucket page um, and it'll have it listed there. Alongside this, uh, there's typically some useful information in terms of documentation for the plugin, for any configuration changes or setting up MySQL or anything else um, will typically be listed on the plugin page. 
That's going to wrap it up for this video. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebblos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.